Alright, me the lovers, Astro and Talon here with another episode of Let's Play Dark Souls. Today, Ornstein and Smo. Which may go well, may go horribly, probably horribly, but hopefully it won't take us the whole episode to cover it. Um, you can see I'm still using the Occult Club for now. Although, thanks to our recent stat upgrades, I've been able to switch back to the Gargoyle Helm, which I think looks a lot better than the Mask of the Sealer. Uh, and is better protective as well. So there's that. Um, what else? I used the souls that we had. I put one extra point in faith and one in endurance. And now, well, we're going to make the run up to the boss. This is a bit of an easier run than uh, than fighting our way through the cathedral again. A um, bit of lore, Ornstein and Smo. Ornstein, Dragon Slayer Ornstein, is one of Gwyn's four knights. Um, the other three get revealed in the DLC, which I'll be doing later on. Um, Executioner Smo. Well, he wants to be one of the four knights, but the fact that he's so barbaric and brutal precludes him from it. Um, some of his practices include grinding down his enemy's bones and using them for seasoning. So, yeah, not really a guy that you want protecting you. Gonna make a quick run up. We've got two of the knights either side. Easy skip. And then we've got one at the front here. You notice I haven't gone back to human after uh, our encounter with the uh, what was it with the invader? Partially because I don't particularly want to summon for this boss, and partially because I think it's going to take me so many attempts it would be a waste of humanity anyway. Here we go. I think they practice that entrance. Alright, switching over to start with to the Great Lightning Spear. Gotta watch both of them. Unfortunately, that means I can't easily get a lock on. Ah, dodged that one way too late. Not good. Using two Estus flasks, and I haven't even attacked yet. Just trying to get some distance on them, and hopefully make up some room that I can use to catch off, catch Dragon Slayer Ornstein off on. There we go. Um, this time around, I'm going to have a crack at taking out Smo first and facing off against Super Ornstein, which could go horribly and probably will. Let's face it. Trying to get a lock in on Ornstein and not ha uh, on Smo and not having a lot of luck. That was entirely the wrong time, wasn't it? Ah, oh, really? <clears throat> Getting some distance behind the pillar. Perfect. Should be able to get another strike in on Smo. No, when he gets his hammer down like that, he's gonna he blocks the magic, which is a real pain in the ass. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, uh, fuck. Oh, what the hell, man? That's, I swear to God, Ornstein slid around fucking corner. Like he's on fucking roller skates there, man. Ah, pillar blocked it. Guess the pillar works both ways. Alright, one more. Okay, we got one down. Now comes Ornstein's turn.
Looks like he's saying goodbye to a dear friend there, but he's just absorbing his power. He's about to go Super Saiyan on us. Here we go. Where is he? There he is. Oh, really? Through a pillar? Okay, fine. Can't really hit us from here, this is interesting, but the lightning spears that we've got, thanks to his uh, generally general lightning resistance, we can't... Oh, really? We don't have any hope of hitting him with it, put it that way. Ah, fuck. This could be it. Nearly. Oh. I'll go too far away from that one. And that one, apparently. Oh. Oh, really? I can't believe how quickly he... How quickly he managed to turn on that. It was not an attack I expected. Perhaps one that I should have done. Hmm. Having trouble just getting close to him at the moment. Didn't quite dodge in time for that one. Ah, uh, or that one. Pillar between us and him. There we go. Fuck, I did not expect that. Should have done. He's gonna come in for a second one. Oh crap. Ooh hoo hoo. Ooh Stay far. Man, if I'd uh, not wasted two charges of Wrath of the Guards, this would be over right now. Still might be. Ooh. Oh, fuck. Nearly, 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 nearly. That's it. That's it. We got him. Wow. <laughs> oh. That's the second time I've beaten Ornstein and Smo. And uh, the first time that I've done it in that order. Normally, I know generally it's accepted that Smo is the easier second boss. And I gotta say, I actually struggled less against Ornstein than I did Smo. Oh, wow. Huh. Quite chuffed with that. And we got the Leo ring, which is going to be handy if we decide we're going to run with more backstabs. At least I think that's what that is. It's been a while since I've actually had the Leo ring. Yeah, counterattack of thrust weapons. Alright, so only really if we use the spear. 
which I don't think we're planning on doing, so there's that. So, bonfire, bonfire, bonfire. I'm quite pleased that took a lot less than I thought it would. <sighs> right, let's put these souls to good use before I waste them up, probably on dying somehow. Uh, vitality and faith. Yeah, I reckon that'll do for now. So, amazing chest ahead, of course, there's somebody who's going to say that. We come to Guinevere. So uh, I think this is the second child of Gwyn. I think it is anyway, yeah. First first is the god of war removed from the annals of history. Second is Gwendolyn. Uh, is Guinevere and third is Gwendolyn. Oh chosen undead, I am Guinevere, daughter of Lord Gwyn and Queen of Sunlight. Since the day your father is formed in obscurity, I have awaited thee, I bequeath the Lord Vessel to thee. Excellent, we finally got fast travel ability. And beseech thee, succeed Lord Queen, and inheriteth the fire of our world. Thou shalt end it this eternal twilight, and avert further undead sacrifices. Oh, dead. Anything else no. to say? Nope, just the covenant, which we're not going to do. And somebody else with the amazing chest, of course. So that leaves us with a handful of bosses. Um, if memory serves, the main bosses we've got to go are Seath, the Four Kings, Nito. Oh no, wait, wait, wait. Seath, Nito, uh, the Witch of Isolith, or the Bed of Chaos, the Four Kings, and. well. Gwyn himself. We're doing reasonably well. So, the first thing we're going to do is walk our way back to the Firelink Shrine. It's a shame that we haven't got a few more warps available to us. One in the catacombs would be useful. We're actually going to finish up a couple of things here. Um, so yeah, we want the Firelink Shrine to start with. And Sigmire of Katarina is here. He made it back. Well, we saved him in the last I'm episode. You here. You did much for me out of that. I am grateful. You know, I was thinking the gate, the old fortress. Is that your thing? Might have been. Yes. I knew it. It seemed like an unlikely coincidence. Well, am I fortunate? This light of Catalina thanks you sincerely. Please, take this as a token of my gratitude. Much appreciated. There you are. I'll be heading down below shortly. There's nothing worthwhile up above. No worries. Venturing is my life. I'm prepared for the worst. <laughs> oh, I like Sigmire. Can we actually walk down to... Oh, no, we can't. Wonderful, okay. So... Oh, no, we can. We've got Torture of Chaos. Fair enough, that's fine. We're gonna... Next time we meet Sigmire, we'll be down in Light Town. <clears throat> which is, oh, I'm not looking forward to going back there, but we have to for a couple of bits and pieces. Next up on the list, we're gonna switch back to our... Uh, divine sword. Where is it? There we go. You know what? I might just ditch most of the weapons I'm not going to use in the bottomless box for now. There, that should be significantly easier to work with. So, back to the graveyard and back to the catacombs. What are we doing there? Well, we are going to... Uh, where am I going? I'm going completely the wrong way. Uh, we're going to pick up an item that we should have picked up before. And I completely forgot about it the first time around. And 
that will allow us to open up an area in an Orlando, if memory serves. Here we go. Alright, so we've made it down. It's just across the bridge from where the bonfire was. Silly me, I completely forgot it. And here is our breakable wall. There are... There is an archer up there. Could be a problem. Especially since we can't actually get a lock. Oh, we can get a lock on. Okay, good. Ah, uh, really? There we go. That takes care of one of them. There are others. Pretty sure. Like that. That one there. Where's that other one? Is up too high for me to hit, is he? Oh no, I might be able to. No. Lock on fails. At the last second. Ow. Okay, so just gonna ignore him then. He says as he gets a third arrow in his head and is fast looking like a pincushion. Uh we want this. Okay, that actually worked pretty effectively. I wish I had Wrath of the Gods the first time I went into the Tomb of the Catacombs. Jesus, that would have made life a lot easier. And there's the Dark Moon Seance Ring. That's what we came down here for. Now we are heading back to Anor Londo. I'll see you there in a minute. So what will probably be our final stop this evening. We are back in Anor Londo. Now that we have the Dark Moon Seance Ring, we can get to a hidden boss. Um, now, before we fight him, I should give you a bit of an idea. This sunlight is an illusion. Guinevere, who we've met, is an illusion. The... I wonder if we can put that in the lowest position now. The, uh, the god putting forth this illusion is Gwyn's thirdborn, Gwendolyn. And that's who we're going to go and meet now. He's head of the Dark Moon uh, Covenant. Memory serves. I haven't actually fought him before, so it's going to be an interesting challenge. And here he is, statue of Gwyn. With a bonfire. Third bonfire in Anorlando. Statue of Gwyn with a fuck off great big sword. Bring in the sun's firstborn. Memory serves. Not that one. Boosts miracles, yeah. Lord Gwyn's firstborn who inherited the sunlight once wore this ancient ring, boost the strength of miracles. Firstborn was a god of war, foolishness led to a loss of the annals and rescinding of his deific status. Today even his name is not known. And there are still people out there who are trying to figure out who the, son, the, the firstborn is. Without a great deal of success, we are going to win it. We are going to wear it. Now, if memory serves, I think... To wear... I think we have to wear the ring. There it is. There it is. Thus, we pass through. And uh, now we're going to change back. And hope that it doesn't cause us to get stuck in a wall or anything. Halt! This is the tomb of the great Lord Gwyn. Tarnished it shall not be by the feet of men. If thou art a true disciple of the Dark Sun, cast aside thine ire. Hear the voice of mine self, Gwyndolin, and kneel before me. No. Don't think I will. 
pretty sure that's the same voice actor who does uh, Lothric in Dark Souls 3. Is it Lothric or Norian? I think it's Lothric. What foolishness. Alright, dude. Why trespasseth upon the great lord's tomb, whilst thou art a disciple of the dark sun? Mark the words of mine self, Gwendolyn. Okay. Thou shalt not go unpunished. Oh, that's trippy. Ah, oh, and it's the, the uh, Moonlight Butterfly. Track. I wonder if I can get close enough to him to um, get a couple of miracles off. Nope. Nope. Oh, fuck me. That's what happens if you're not blocking, apparently. Ow. Okay, that's worth bearing in mind. Press the wrong button at the wrong time. I can't actually get close enough to him to use a miracle, so I'm gonna have to a uh, gonna have to go after him myself. I think, or I, it's not that I can't get close enough. I can't get close enough for a lock on. Ah, shit! Knew I should have walked. Uh, knew I should have rested in Animal Wonder. Oh fuck. How did you ever get this far? I don't know you suffer. Once again, forgot I had my shield out. I was gonna say that this woman has uh, something to um do with Gwendolyn. But uh yeah. This you suck. Is it threat? Master Quinn. That takes care of her. Ooh. Going straight for the magic system around. Don't think I can see you using both. Oh crap. So no is the answer. I can't get close enough to use a miracle. Just gonna have to go for a physical instead. Oh shit! Didn't notice. Didn't notice it in time. Man, I can't even get past the magic right now. Attack on him, Jesus. Oh, fuck. Pay attention. Man, this is going to be a slow battle. Am 
might just skip ahead a little bit, so don't worry too much about missing stuff. Aha! Double attack, bitch. I know all your moves. And now you're done. Swathed in dark. An eternal curse upon thee. And thus, with that, Gwendolyn's illusion on Anor Orlando is broken. And we have the soul of Gwendolyn, which is uh, always nice. I'm going to have a quick look at the end here. Yeah, so that should leave Anor Orlando in darkness. And also, um, Guinevere. The illusion of Guinevere will disappear. And we have lovely, lovely souls. And the Tomb of Gwyn. I actually remember this from Dark Souls 3. And I remember thinking that it feels like there should be more to this room than there actually is. And now I know why. Because there is. Just not in the third one. Ah, oh, nice. Sunlight, sunlight Blade Miracle. And, uh... I'm pretty sure that's not a... Huh. Not a mimic, but uh, an empty chest, all the same. But this one over here. That one's actually got items. Yay! So the sunlight blade miracle. That could be rather useful to us, given that it's a miracle. And you know, that's kind of what we're going for this playthrough. Sunlight blade. Faith thirty. Boosts right weapon with rays of sun. Nice. We're going to have to give that a try. That does mean leveling up a standard weapon because I believe we can't, won't be able to use it against. I uh, won't be able to use it aside from that. We won't be able to use it, to use it on split damage weapons like the. Um, uh, well, like the club that we're using, like the divine long sword, like the lightning, uh, lightning spear. None of that. Can't use any of that, which is fine. It's fine. It's all fine. We are going to finish up now. We're going to head upstairs, go back to the bonfire, and walk down to um, Blighttown. So, to the Daughter of Chaos. Actually, we're going to level up first. That's what we're going to do. We're going to level up. But we could do with a few more souls so we can get a couple of levels out. So, we're going to use one of our items. Oh, we've got a decent amount of humanity. I know what I'm going to do next episode. And I know what I'm going to do this episode. We actually need to go back to filing first. I say this episode. I'm going to do it at the beginning of next episode. But I know where we need to go first. That's that's the kind of the words I'm going for here. Yeah, I think we'll put another one in vitality for now. Slowly building. Which is good. We're going to walk back to the fire link shrine. Finish this up with one more step. And then the next episode we're going to be picking up down in Blight Town because we have a few people to see, a few places to go. There you are. <laughs> we'll see Sigmire again shortly as well. We also want to open up the shortcut to Lost Isolith, um, which should give us the opportunity to save Solaire. And we're going to use the Firekeeper Soul that we got in Anor Londo to get us to plus three. Oh, there's something else I need to do. We are going to go down to Blight Town next time round. And we're going to open up the shortcut and things like that. But we're also going to start the process of the DLC. And this is something I'm really looking forward to. I've purposely kept away from all of the spoilers for... Um, Artorius and the DLC in general and I'm really really looking forward to doing it. I've heard that Artorius is one of the best boss fights and I've heard there's a few bits and pieces that have an impact on the main game so I'm really looking forward to that. Um, 
we're probably going to start covering that next episode. Certainly the, the episode afterwards, if not next time around. So for now, I think we're going to end the episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, leave me a like, leave me some comments, uh, some feedback, and subscribe if you want to see more. Until next time, directly. Which may go well, may go horribly, probably horribly, but hopefully it won't take us the whole episode to cover it. Um, you can see I'm still using the Occult Club for now. Although, thanks to our recent stat upgrades, I've been able to switch back to the Gargoyle Helm. Which I think looks a lot better than the Mask of the Sealer. Uh, and is better protective as well. So there's that. Um, what else? I used the souls that we had. I put one extra point in faith and one in endurance. And now, well, we're going to make the run up to the boss. This is a bit of an easier run than uh, than fighting our way through the cathedral again. A um, bit of lore, Ornstein and Smo. Ornstein, Dragon Slayer Ornstein, is one of Gwyn's four knights. Um, the other three get revealed in the DLC, which I'll be doing later on. Um, Executioner Smo. Well, he wants to be one of the four knights, but the fact that he's so barbaric and brutal precludes him from it. Um, some of his practices include grinding down his enemy's bones and using them for seasoning. So, yeah, not really a guy that you want protecting you. Gonna make a quick run up. We've got two of the knights either side. Easy skip, and then we've got one at the front here. You notice I haven't gone back to human after uh, our encounter with the uh, what was it with the invader? Partially because I don't particularly want to summon for this boss, and partially because I think it's going to take me so many attempts it would be a waste of humanity anyway. Here we go. Do you think they practice that entrance? Alright, switching over to start with to the Great Lightning Spear. Gotta watch both of them. Unfortunately, that means I can't easily get a lock on. Ah, dodged that one way too late. Not good. Using two Estus flasks, and I haven't even attacked yet. Just trying to get some distance on them, and hopefully make up some room that I can use to catch off, catch Dragon Slayer Ornstein off on. There we go. Um, this time around, I'm going to have a crack at taking out Smo first and facing off again. Man, this is going to be a slow battle. Might just skip ahead a little bit, so don't worry too much about missing stuff. Aha! Double attack, bitch! I know all your moves. And now you're done. Swathed in dark. An eternal curse upon thee. And thus, with that, Gwendolyn's illusion on Anor Londo is broken. And we have the soul of Gwendolyn, which is uh, always nice. I'm gonna have a quick look at the end here. Yeah, so that should leave Anor Londo in darkness, and also um, Guinevere 
the illusion of Guinevere will disappear. And we have lovely, lovely souls. And the Tomb of Gwyn. I actually remember this from Dark Souls 3. And I remember thinking that it feels like there should be more to this room than there actually is. And now I know why. Because there is. Just not in the third one. Ah, nice. Sunlight, sunlight Blade Miracle. And, uh... I'm pretty sure that's not a... Huh. Not a mimic, but uh, an empty chest. All the same. What about this one over here? Oh. That one's actually got items. Yay! So, the Sunlight Blade Miracle. That could be rather useful to us given that it's a miracle. And, you know, that's kind of what we're going for this playthrough. Sunlight Blade. Faith 30. Boosts right weapon with rays of sun. Nice. We're going to have to give that a try. That does mean leveling up a standard weapon, because I'm a day of fixed status today. Even his name is not known. And there are still people out there who... Are trying to figure out who the, son, the the firstborn is without a great deal of success we are going to win it we, we are going to wear it now if memory serves i think to wear i think we have to wear the ring there it is there it is thus we pass through and uh, now we're going to change back. And hope that it doesn't cause us to get stuck in a wall or anything. Halt! This is the tomb of the great Lord Gwyn. Tarnished it shall not be by the feet of men. If thou art a true disciple of the Dark Sun, cast aside thine eye. Hear the voice of mine self, Windelin, and kneel before me. No. I don't think I will. I'm pretty sure that's the same voice actor who does uh, Lothric in Dark Souls 3. Is it Lothric or Norian? I think it's Lothric. What foolishness. Alright, dude. Why trespasseth upon the great lord's tomb whilst thou art a disciple of the Dark Sun? Mark the words of mine self. Gwendolyn. Okay. Thou shalt not go unpunished. Oh, that's trippy. Oh, and it's the, the uh, Moonlight Butterfly track. I wonder if I can get close enough to him to um, get a couple of miracles off. Oh, fuck me. That's what happens if you're not blocking, apparently. Ow. Okay, that's worth bearing in mind. Press the wrong button at the wrong time. I can't actually get close enough to him to use a miracle, so I'm gonna have to a uh, gonna have to go after him myself, I think. Or I, it's not that I can't get close enough, I can't get close enough for a lock on. Ah shit. Yes, I knew it. It seemed like an unlikely coincidence. Well, am I fortunate? This light of Catalina thanks you sincerely. Please. Take this as a token of my gratitude. Much appreciated. There you are. I'll be heading down below shortly. There's nothing worthwhile up above. No worries. Venturing is my life. I'm prepared for the worst. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like Sigmar. Can we actually walk down to... Oh, no, we can't. Wonderful. Okay. 
So, oh no, we can. We've got Torture of Chaos. Fair enough, that's fine. We're gonna, next time we meet Sigmire, we'll be down in Light Town. <clears throat> which, oh, I'm not looking forward to going back there, but we have to for a couple of bits and pieces. Next up on the list, we're gonna switch back to our uh, Divine Sword. Where is it? There we go. You know what? I might just ditch most of the weapons I'm not going to use in the bottomless box for now. There, that should be significantly easier to work with. So, back to the graveyard and back to the catacombs. What are we doing there? Well, we are going to... Uh, where am I going? I'm going completely the wrong way. Uh, we're going to pick up an item that we should have picked up before. And I completely forgot about it the first time around. And that will allow us to open up an area in an Orlando if memory serves. Here we go. Alright, so we've made it down. It's just across the bridge from where the bonfire was. Silly me, I completely forgot it. And here is our breakable wall. There are... There is an archer up there. Could be a problem. Especially since we can't actually get a lock. Oh, we can get a lock on. Okay, good. Ah, uh, really? There we go, that takes care of one of them. There are others, pretty sure. Like that, that one there. Oh. Right, where's that other one? Going straight for the magic system around. Don't think I can see you using both. Oh crap. So no is the answer. I can't get close enough to use a miracle. Just gonna have to go for a physical instead. Oh shit! Didn't notice. Didn't notice it in time. Man, I can't even get past the magic right now. attack on him. Jesus. Oh, fuck. Pay attention. Man, this is going to be a slow battle. Might just skip ahead a little bit, so don't worry too much about missing stuff. Ha! Double attack, bitch. Oh, 
I know all your moves. And now you're done. Swathed in dark. An eternal curse upon thee. And thus, with that, Gwendolyn's illusion on An Orlando. Ah, fuck. This could be it. Nearly. I'll go too far away from that one. And that one, apparently. Oh. Oh, really? I can't believe how quickly he... Fuck! How quickly he managed to turn on that. It was not an attack I expected. Perhaps one that I should have done. Mm. Having trouble just getting close to him at the moment. dodge in time for that one. Ah, uh, or that one. Pillar between us and him. There we go. I did not expect that. Should have done. He's going to come in for a second one. Oh crap. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Stay far. Man, if I'd uh, not wasted two charges of Wrath of the Guards, this would be over right now. Still might be. Ooh. Oh, fuck. Nearly, 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 nearly. That's it. That's it. We got him. Wow. <laughs> oh. That's the second time I've beaten Ornstein and Smo. And uh, the first time that I've done it in that order. Normally, I know generally it's accepted that Smo is the easier second boss. And I gotta say, I actually struggled less against Ornstein than I did Smo. Oh, wow. Huh. Quite chuffed with that. And we got the Leo ring, which is going to be handy if we decide we're going to run with more backstabs. At least I think that's what that is. It's been a while since I've actually had the Leo ring. Yeah, counterattack of thrust weapons. Uh, so only really if we use the spear, which I don't think we're planning on doing, so there's that. So, bonfire, bonfire, bonfire. I'm quite pleased that took a lot less than I thought it would. <sighs> right, let's put these souls to good use before I waste them probably on dying somehow. Uh, vitality and faith. Yeah, I reckon that'll do for now. Uh. 
so. Amazing chest ahead, of course, there's somebody who's going to say that. We come to Guinevere. So, I think this is the second child of Gwyn. I think it is anyway, yeah. First, first is the God of War removed from the Annals of History. Second is Gwyndolin. Uh, is Guinevere. And third is Gwyndolin. O oh, chosen undead, I am Guinevere, daughter of Lord Gwyn and Queen of Sunlight. Since the day the Father is formed in obscurity, I have awaited thee. I bequeath the Lord Vessel to thee. Excellent, we finally got fast travel ability. And beseech thee, succeed Lord Gwyn, and inheriteth the fire of our world. Thou shalt end this eternal twilight, 